Before we we jump into our first topic, did you want to get? Did you want to plug uh, what you did this weekend? The brunch you had. Oh yeah, so mm. I can't say the full name of the group I'm in because of um, membership liability. Oh but, really? Yeah, y'all we're are actually like, we like we don't we don't. It's like some CIA stuff. It's y'all y'all into don't a exist. Thing. Like, like <laughs> so, I even got some. Wait, tea. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, are you saying if we if you tell the Vibe Tribe, if you tell America? What group you're a part of? Are you saying you'd have to kill each and every one of them? No. Is this, is this like some top of, secret top stuff of, type that's stuff? That's a lot of killing. Is it? And well, I, just I, don't have, I don't have time for that. So it is a, it's it's a Trader Joe's group and it is specifically for a type of woman. And there it's not, it's nationwide, but you know, we get in there and we post like, oh, has anyone tried this? Has anyone tried that? Don't try this. Like, this is bad. And it's, it's. It was. It just started as simple banter of just a sisterhood of women enjoying Trader Joe's. And I guess I've always been a big Trader Joe's person. I thought I was bougie um, because of it. So I never assumed that other women like me fell into the Trader Joe's demographic. I mean, but, you are bougie. But we do. I am bougie. I'm a humble bougie, though. I have some humility. I mean, like, I mean, I, I mm. whatever adjective you want to put in front but of me. But I, I, I am bougie. humble, but I'm bougie. I have stand. I have a standard that I must live up to. But um, we, one of them, organized a brunch. So we went to Stir in Charlotte. Um, it was essentially the Charlotte chapter. Um, but you know, a couple of girls came down, or women, excuse me, came down from the Raleigh Durham area, and it was such an amazing fellowship. One because we've been locked in our houses for. Far too long, with and it was you, the with first. With your husbands driving y'all with crazy. With our husbands and our small, our small children driving um, y'all wild. And I guess you, when you are in a pandemic, for those of you who ever hear this in the future and don't know what living in a pandemic is, um, you have very limited opportunities to engage with strangers. Well, in an intimate environment. Not necessarily. I mean, you could have, you could have like. Just ignored all the like safety proto safety and we health could and safety have, protocols. Which, I mean, and plenty done, of people. A lot of people, people are doing that because um, you know. that's on you, not on me. I, but as long as you wash your hands. But it was just nice, and we were having like we were all from different walks of life, and we were just being able to start conversations and just the 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 type of insight we had. Everyone kind of specialized in something different, and we were just able to have like the conversation barely even touched Trader Joe's, even though one one lady brought up that there was this whole controversy, and I guess one woman was at work and she was laughing at something that someone posted in the group, and her coworker was like, "What? What? What's the name of the group?" And she was like, "I can't tell you what the name of the group is." And she was like, "Why can't you tell me what the name of the group is?" She was like, "Because I can't, because because you can't you, you can't know," and so that woman went to HR to report her. So she posted the other woman. She posted it in the group. One of them was like, I am an attorney. I understand HR. Strolled up in her BMW and her Olivia Pope suit wow. to the business and was like, look, what you're not about to do wow. is make a fuss over a Facebook group that you can't be a part of. That's and the other shit got fired. So it's amazing. Like I, the, I got Wait, so the one, much. The one, the one who tried to report talking about like. They let her go. I guess it must have been deeper. I'm sure they just she was probably they, one they of those. just needed they just needed a reason. Yeah, she probably yeah. already like had a folder that was full of stuff, and it was like okay, we just going and a binder full you know, of because certain lives are mattering right of, now. Yeah, so, of but it was it was just beautiful. Like one of them was dropping a lot of insurance knowledge. Another one is just like a traveling. Like she just travels everywhere, um, and it was it, it's amazing how in a short period of time you can just you can connect with people. They're, they're, they're just, you, you, you can. can vibe, you, you can vibe with people. You can. <laughs> I, I can connect with people. Um, and as I've grown, I've learned how to, cause before I always wanted to connect with everybody and I always felt obligated to connect with everybody. But now I've gotten to a place in adulthood where I've accepted that I can't connect with everyone and it's okay. Like I don't have to like everyone. Um, I can tolerate everyone. Like there, there are a couple people where I was like, you know, we can be cordial, but you're, I'm not going to be calling you up to hang out. But there were some other ones where it's like your spirit and my spirit are like spiriting. And I want, I, I'm enjoying, yes, I said spiriting. Um, 
I'm enjoying this. So it like it's something that we plan on doing. We need you to leave that ginger beer alone. <laughs> we've got deviated you. away from we deviated slightly away from Trader Joe's and we were just talking about things that, you know, people do that we don't necessarily anticipate. A lot of us were from the northeast, so we talked about like our culture shock with moving to the south and just mm. like the number of like I, I told one of them, you know, I went to, I did my senior year of high school down here and I remember coming home like the first day of school and I was like, mom, there are a lot of black people in my school. <laughs> like, and I went to a school with black people in the, like in, in Worcester. I have black friends from Worcester, but the, the population percentage wise that was down here, I was like, mom, this is wild. And another girl was like, I felt the same way. So it was, it's just interesting. And, you know, when you're an adult, if you're not, like, working in an office or in school, in a classroom, it's really hard to yeah. to, to make their it, – it's not as easy to make friends. Kids right. can make friends because they're around. They're forced into social networks. But yeah. I, I just enjoyed it. So that, that was something that I, you know, was just super happy to be a part of. Um, and it was, it was a high, one of the highlights of my weekend. Awesome. Well, I, I'm glad that you were able to, uh, one, gain access into this, this top, top secret Look. Uh, group. On, and don't come on, asking questions. On, on Facebook. It's not for you. Not every um, ministry is for you. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to shout out shout out the girls because they, they were amazing and just it was great to be around Kendrick. Make spirits. sure you, you, you drop this link I will. in the group and I let will. them know that we, we shouted them I out. I will. Don't come for me because I told the story about HR. Um, because yeah, there was the, a TikTok. The, look, if I see a BMW pull up in our driveway, yo, she, she, I, don't come for me, sis. I'm sorry, sis. Because there was a TikTok, and someone was like, um, "What is what is like a group that's secretly a cult?" And then it, it flips to a black woman. She was like, "They gonna get me for this, but uh, I'm gonna I'm spill it." Uh, black no, no. women who shop at Trader Joe's, and we were like, "Sis, you can't be dropping the, you can't be letting them know. You can't." What? What? Why does it need to be secret? Because like we're just we're just a different we're just a different kind of demographic. I don't I don't, I don't understand this. Se- but we were secrecy. we were coming for it, like it was in the group. Someone it's posted funny. it in it's, the group. Like uh, it's funny to you me. You can't be putting our secrets out there. That's funny. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's hilarious. Shout and out to y'all. It's just nice that everyone everyone for the most part stays nice to each other too. Like that's good. It's it's a good group. It's good. good group you need a safe space to uh, talk about all the ridiculous purchases you make at Trader Joe's. The unsubstantiated, but he be in them. That he is in them, like those chips in a pickle. We don't need. To, we don't need to discuss. That's not important. I came. Not, I came downstairs. Necessary. I think I took a nap. I came downstairs. <laughs> it's not necessary. This dude is posted up, not even sitting, just standing. Got one of his legs up, like Captain Morgan pose, out here digging in my chips, like sir. Why does my posture matter to the people? Because to the, to the your listeners? posture determines how my, you are my enjoying posture yourself. Is not relevant. Like you couldn't even get yourself to sit down. You had to keep standing That's and then good. prop your leg up as you Very eat good. my chips. Yeah. Going through some growing pains. Yeah. None but some growing pains. Yeah. Hey.